What's up everybody, this is Spectacular Smith and welcome to the Spectacular Experience. What's up everybody, this is Spectacular Smith and I am the host of the Spectacular Experience. What's up everybody, this is Spectacular Smith and I am the host of the Spectacular Experience. Today, I want to get into thinking ahead and why is that so important. One of the reasons why it's important is because it keeps you on your toes at all times. And when you can think ahead and predict the future, then you're able to make better decisions moving forward. I'm going to give you one scenario of how I could have thought more ahead. And it was a time where I actually went to a party. And when I went to a party, I went and valeted my car. So I don't know if you guys ever did this before, but I valeted and the party didn't end when it was supposed to end. And I didn't want to leave the party because it was pretty much popping. So I decided to just leave my car at the valet. So when I got back from the party to the valet, of course, it was closed. But me, you know, I'm going to try to see if I can make something work. So it almost happened now. When I got there, it was a lady cleaning up. I knocked on the window. She looked at me like, oh, hell no. (laughs) I am not going to that door. She went to go get Pablo. He came back out. It's like, can I help you? I was like, man, my car is in the little parking lot and I need to get home. So he told me, all right, cool. I don't have the key though. So I'm just thinking like maybe the valet left the key in the car. So I go to the parking lot. You know, Pablo opened the door for me, opened the gate for me. So I went in and just tried to, like, see if they left the door open, the trunk, see if they left it on the key, um, and on the bottom of the tire or something like that, on top of the tire. So then I ended up zooming in, and I was like, hold up. The whole front of the rental car is scratched. And I, I don't know if I told you it was a rental car, but yes, it was a rental car. I had to go home, catch an Uber an hour, back home. And then I had to come the next day and drive a whole hour back in another Uber back to come pick the car up. Okay. And I know y'all thinking like, dang, that was an L. Because at the time, this was a few years ago, I was trying to be cheap. You know, I was trying to be cheap. I'm frugal. Just, just, I'm just a frugal person. I just like to save money. That's just what it is. No matter how much money you get, I'm probably going to be the same way. A billion dollars, I'm still probably going to be the person that's just frugal as hell. And now let's rewind this whole situation. Now let's think about how I could have thought ahead. First thing I could have did, one was I could have took one of the spare keys from the rental cars. So if I would have had the spare key, When Pablo opened the gate for me, I could have drove off in the car and came and got the other key back when I felt like it. That was one thing. I could have told the valet that, hey, I'm actually going to go to a party. When do you guys close? I did not ask that. I didn't call him. I didn't text him. I didn't say anything. I just left thinking that I was going to be back in time. Now, that was one of the ways that I could have actually thought ahead of the curve because if I would have thought ahead, then I wouldn't have had to pay $200 worth of Uber fees an hour to my house and an hour back to Los Angeles, okay? Another thing that I could have did was I could have actually looked at the car before I got out the car to check it at the valet. And I know I see a few people do this to check the car, sometimes even film the car to make sure. Because when I seen that car, not only I didn't check it at the rental car place because I was in a rush, but I didn't check it when I dropped it off to the valet. I just jumped out the car. I didn't check it. And then when I looked at it in the parking lot when it was time to come get it, I seen scratches on it. So I'm talking to the Valet guy, I'm like, yo, that scratch wasn't there. I didn't see that scratch. And he's like, oh, no, you seen that. You knew that was there. You went straight to it. I went straight to it because when I went to go get it 
a day before I seen it when I was trying to get in the car. But the point I'm making is I didn't think ahead. So it left me to just take an L when it came to the scratch. I took an L when it came to the Uber. I took an L getting back from the club. or It wasn't even a club. It was a party and no car. This all goes in life. No matter what it is, you got to think about how could you think ahead. I could give you a million scenarios of how I could think ahead and think the same way for yourself. What situations could you think and figure out a way to solve a problem before it happens and, and basically have every single problem lined out for you? So if this happened, this is a solution. If this happened, this is a solution. If this happens, this is the solution. If I came with two keys before I left, even though I thought it was a possibility for me to get back and the valet not be there, I should have split the keys up. If I knew I wasn't going to be there and didn't have the possibilities of getting back on time, I should have had a conversation with the valet man. At least knowing so I know how to maneuver. I can check the time. He can tell me like, hey, you know, we, we're going to leave in two in the morning, one in the morning, then I can have my schedule positioned accordingly, all right? So anytime that you actually think of doing something, try to be as, what, what's the word for it? I don't even know if it's a word, but try to think ahead as much as possible. Try to cover all bases so when you hit that home run, you can make sure you're touching every last one of them so you can go ahead and hit that home run and hit the base and get that point, all right? So make sure that you think ahead at all times. No matter what you're doing in life, it will benefit you. If not, you're going to take an L like me. Of course, I want you guys to subscribe to this podcast. If you're on YouTube, hit that thumbs up. Leave me a comment below on something that you actually did that you did not think ahead. And I want to hear your L's and your story on how it didn't work out for you because you didn't think ahead. And how you're going to think ahead from this point forward. Because that was a huge lesson for me in my life. So not everything that I do, I think ahead. And I try to cover all bases before I even do what I'm planning to do. And make sure I can think of the worst possible thing that can happen. And I can cover my ass, alright? This is Spectacular Smith. I'm your host. Make sure you leave me a review and subscribe. Let's go.